As you know, we've recently been checking out this stretch of river right here, trying to break it down and trying to find those big old bronzies. Well, today I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna return to the spot where I started to have luck and hopefully bust on a few big smallmouth. So without further ado, let's make a nice long pedal all the way down to the island and let's go see if we can crack on a few. Let's go. While we're pedaling down to the island, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this whopper plopper. I'm just gonna try to get to the island as quick as possible because I know that's where we're gonna have the best chances at some of those small jaws. I can't wait to get on the road again. Trying to catch some big old smallies with my friends. And I can't wait to get on the road again. Ah, uh, that's the old island that I peed on last trip. Dink Island. Gotta love it. Oh, there's... I thought I was getting a bite. That was so weird. I was like so confused because it felt like something was picking it up, but it was so small. It was literally like this long of a largemouth bass. So there's a ton of trees in here and I literally just broke off my Texas rig. And I know this is probably stupid, but I'm gonna throw a tube jig just because I like the action of a tube jig better. I know it's probably gonna get hung up, but I'm just hoping I can pop it free when that happens. There we are. Hey, that large mouth? That's a large mouth, not a bad one. All right, well, we're on the board. My Lord, it took forever. I don't know if making the adjustment to a tube jig made the difference, but it's not a bad little largemouth. Healthy river largemouth right there, boys. All right, all right. Check you later, broski. Yay! Oh. Oh, that was a total dink. Okay, quick update. Today's fishing has been pretty pathetic. I'm gonna have to put the tube up. Even though the tube almost always works for me for smallmouth, for some reason it's not working today. So I'm gonna switch to some finesse and I'm gonna throw that topwater a good bit to see if I can get them to come up and react to the old wapa plapa. Anyways, I can't complain. It feels pretty good to be out here on the river. I haven't really seen anybody else, so I've pretty much had it solo, which is always nice. I know as soon as it happens, it can happen fast. So I just gotta stay positive. These smallies are about to get caught. Let's go. Let's build up the confidence juices with the uh, a little 1 16th ounce mule jig and a little swim bait. Something just popped it. Fish. There we go. Feels, I can't tell how it feels. Oh, nice little smallie. Going to the finesse, change the game, baby. I gotta be careful here. My leader's only four pound test. Oh my gosh, pinned him. Take a look at that. All right, beautiful little bronzy. That's what we're after. Not a giant fish, but by golly, he's beautiful. I threw the tube for so long. I threw this thing for just a couple casts and boom, it happened. All right, see ya, buddy. Let's see if we can catch a couple more of those guys. That was a weird bite, super finicky. Oh, oh, daggummit, one just popped it. Come back for it. I don't know what that was. It felt like a daggum bluegill bite, man. Making the same cast. There he is. Made the same cast over and over and over again. That's probably why they're short strikers. That's a small fish right there. Little largemouth is what that is. I kept making that cast. I had a couple short strikes. I'm just like, I was optimistic that it might be just like a big smallie that was just super lethargic. Nope, not the case. <laughs> I think these fish are just kind of in a weird state. I'm just gonna keep making the same cast over and over again and just really pick apart this area. Totally a confidence bait. There he is. Catch up with him. That's a small mouth. That's gotta be a small mouth. Oh my gosh. That ain't no small mouth. Gotta love BFS, dude. Throwing that BFS, using that light line and using that little mule jig, you just never know what you're gonna get, man. That's a tank bluegill. This little spot right here has got me a bluegill, a small mouth, and a large mouth. Three species, one bait, a little section about 10 feet wide. They all came from about the same spot. And now I'm snagged on a tree. Aha, gotcha. There's fish. Large mouth. Man, I love BFS. This is a uh, seven foot light action rod. And uh, I tell you what, little fish like this are still fun. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. That large mouth came screaming out of that little bush right there and just popped it. I'm nothing but confident there's still smallmouth in the area. I just think they're kind of finicky right now. I've been having a lot of fun on this river though. I tell you what, I really enjoy breaking down a stretch of river. Every single time, you just never really know what's gonna happen. And it's just such a little adventure. Here comes old uh, arch enemy number one, two, and three. They always know how to find me. I thought that we weren't gonna have to deal with jet skiers today, but nope. 
Here they are. This is where you're gonna start ripping around. Goes right over the top of my line. And that, my friends, is why they're my arch enemies. Because out of anywhere to turn around and do a donut, they didn't do it at all. At all. This whole stretch of river. And then they come up next to me and then do their little donuts. It's like, why? Why do you feel the need? Okay, I'm gonna put away the BFS rod for a few minutes. I'm gonna focus in on the old Whopper Plopper. I'm really, really hopeful that a few fish will come up and play. That thing just looks so dang juicy. That sun's starting to get a little lower and I'm hoping that they can start coming up and pounding top water here very shortly. Let's give this swim bait a shot in this area and see if it's the area that's bad or if it's the Whopper Plopper. There's a fit. No, it broke me off. What the heck? I probably had a kink in my line. All right, get out another 1 16th ounce white mule jig. There's a fish. Oh, it's a little smally. Well, he wouldn't come eat the Whopper Plopper, but I tell you what, this little swim bait has saved the day today, man. This little swim bait has saved the day today. That is the second smallmouth I've caught on this thing. Nothing else is working for these guys. I don't know, man, I think they're just lethargic. I think it's just the heat of summer and these fish are just not as aggressive as they normally are. There's really two mentalities to fishing. You can either fish an area really heavily and break it down like crazy, or you can just burn a ton of water and fish with something super fast. So I could keep throwing that top water and just move as much river water as possible. And I'm sure I'd get rewarded with a few fish. But my mentality right now is find an area that you feel is high percentage and just fish it really heavily. I had so much higher hopes for today, man. I'm not disappointed with what we've had today. I know we could do better. What is this? How, what? Oh, dude, oh, bye-bye. That was a dinky little largemouth. Like I said, it's like, I'm not mad about today. Like, I'm happy, I'm happy I'm out here, and I'm happy I'm catching fish. I just had higher expectations. I realistically thought we'd catch more smallmouth, and I really thought we were gonna catch some nice smallmouth. Fish, all right, all right, all right. That a big old slab bluegill. That gum looks about like the first one. Caught it in the same spot. This one's actually a little smaller though. It's a little shorter, but it's a dadgum nice little bluegill. I'll take it. Man, evidently I picked the wrong day to fish. It has not been the best fishing. One thing I am super happy about, the fact that I brought this BFS rod. Also, the fact that I rigged up this little swim bait. You know, honestly, finesse swim baits are just such a confidence bait of mine, and I'm super glad that I had this with me because it's been good. I mean, bluegill, smallmouth, and largemouth. That's pretty cool. How about a big old smallmouth comes and surprises me? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> a little smallie just torched it right in front of my kayak. Oh, right after I said, how about a big old smallmouth comes and surprises me, a little old smallmouth comes and surprises me. I'll tell you what though, man. They can be a year and a half year old like this little guy and absolutely make your day spectacular. One thing I will say about this swim bait is I've noticed a ton of little minnows. When I throw my whopper plopper and stuff, little minnows will be scurrying around next to my whopper plopper like crazy. I think there's just a ton of small bait fish. And so this little swim bait, maybe that's why it's working so much better than the other stuff. Maybe it's because it really is matching the hatch better. Oh yeah, there's a better fish. Not very big, but a little bit better than the last couple. And I tell you what, when you're using four pound test leader, it's always a blast. All right, buddy, little largemouth hooked right on the side of the mouth there. Largemouth, smallmouth, bluegill, we can do it all. Gotta catch up with this fish. He is going fast. Oh, <laughs> that is why it's a little bluegill. Multi-species, I love it. Multi-species, I love it, I love it. Ah. Just a gorgeous bluegill right there, man. All right, see ya, buddy. Here's something I wasn't really planning on bringing up, but because, you know, I'm excited, I'm gonna bring it up. Today, the day that this video posts, is the day I'm actually getting married to the woman of my dreams. You know, I always post videos on Sundays, and where I'm at in this editing process, this one is actually gonna go up on my actual wedding day. You know, Jocelyn is the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me, and I cannot wait to be her husband, and I can't wait to grow old with her. Oh, just got popped. There he is. Is that another gill? 
It is. Wait, no, it's a largemouth. I dedicate this dink to my new wife, Jocelyn. Today is our wedding day. This one's for you, honey. Okay. Anyways, yeah, so FYI, I'm now a married man. We got a heck of a sunset in the works here. Super hazy tonight, I don't know why. As soon as it hit the water, what's this gonna be? A little renegade largemouth or is it a smallmouth? Man, we're having ourselves a pretty good day with regards to numbers. Is that a smallie? It is a smallie. Well, son of a gun. Look at that. Nice little small jaw. I don't know why I don't use my net for crazy fish like this, man. I'll tell you what, not a very big smallmouth, but on that BFS gear, as I always say, it's always a blast. And this guy had a lot of fight in him. What a beautiful fish. All right, see you, buddy. There's another one. Is this gonna be another small jaw? Or is it a bluegill? Oh my gosh, dang it. I pulled it out of his mouth. It's 8.06, I really need to get going, but I love fishing. There goes a deer. That, my friends, is why I love the river. Yeah, I feel like there's just so much more wildlife around the river. Deer, I've seen mink, hear lots of birds. There's a fish. Come on, smallie, be a smallie. Oh, wow, bluegill. Nice little gill. I tell you what, the average size of the bluegill on the river seems to be quite a bit better than a lot of the lakes. All over body spray, black Kenneth Cole. Well, I'm gonna go dispose of this properly. Yankee Doodle, sing that song, doo da doo da day. Fish, why am I singing Yankee Doodle? Meanwhile, I've got largemouth biting. Oh, get up here, get up here. Just a little chungus. A good old chungus on the BFS. Mule jig, BFS rod, largemouth, river, life is good. Okay, okay, okay. Yankee Doodle, sing that song, doo da, doo da. Okay, for those of you who have been wondering how I'm working this little swim bait, it's pretty simple. Watch this. Cast it out there, let it sink for a split second, reel down your slack, pop it a couple times, reel down your slack, let it sink pop it a couple times. It's kind of like a swim, glide, and shake technique. I'm not necessarily putting a lot of thought into it. I'm really just going off of gut feel. So like sink, 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 reel down the slack, twitch it up a couple times, sink, 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 reel down the slack, shake it a little bit. There we go. Oh, it's just such an excellent fish to end on. This is the fish we're ending on. A total monster. An absolute donkey mama. Hey, look at that hook set though. Right in the nagging. You know, we're in the Dink Master Kayak, so the best way to end today is an absolute dink. That's just how we be. I'm gonna name you um, Leonardo. See you, Leonardo. All right, you know what? That's a wrap. I tell you what, I had an absolute blast on the river today. No, we didn't get into those bigger smallmouth that I was hoping to get into, but I tell you what, this little BFS rod and this little swim bait did the trick just fine. Bluegill, largemouth, smallmouth can't complain. I will say this, if I was to do it all over again, I would have only brought the BFS and probably a couple of ultralights and I really would have just focused in on bluegill and then just multi-species and I would have just embraced the dinks. Regardless, I'm going to go load up the kayak and I'm going to go eat some food. Also, as of today, I'm a married man. That's pretty crazy to think about, but I'm so happy about it. You know, I'm going to say one more thing here. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. You're awesome. You mean the world to me. We'll catch you next time.